Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Free to Play Weekly, your show for free to play online games. News of the week. In this week's news, DC Universe Online is going free to play. Sony Online Entertainment announced a new free to play business model for its popular, massively multiplayer online game, DC Universe Online, where players have the freedom to become legendary, fighting alongside DC Comics icons like Superman, Batman, and the Joker in an ever evolving online action adventure. Beginning late October, players will be able to download and access DC Universe Online for free on both the PlayStation 3 and PC. As part of this transition, SOE is introducing three new access levels to the game, Free, Premium, and Legendary. All three levels will provide access to open world gameplay and missions, general game updates and fixes to the game, with each level offering different game options and benefits. Even superheroes cannot resist this free-to-play movement. I will become the next legend. Up next, Digimon Masters announces its open beta. Digimon Masters has announced that it will begin its open beta test on Tuesday, September 27th. The game will feature three digital data squad members to choose from. Marcus with Agamon, Thomas with Galmon, and Yoshino with Lalamon. There will be hundreds of Digimon available to catch from the first five anime series. Players will also enjoy an experience boost during open beta thanks to a contest on the game's Facebook fan page. No fun for you, Pikachu. Hi-Rez Studios announced that the Recursive Colony expansion to Global Agenda is now live and available to all players for free. Version 1.5 is the first major expansion since Global Agenda became free to play last April, and it's the largest content update in the game's history, and introduces a new open zone, mission instances, and enemies. Also new in the expansion are daily repeatable quests, new trails, pets, and blueprints, improved crafting, redesigned intro missions, cross-instance chat channels, two new PvP maps, and much, much more. More jetpack action? Sign me up. Up next, Dragon Nest announces its official launch. The official launch date of Dragon Nest will be September 28th, according to a new announcement from Nexon. The launch will include a large content update that raises the level cap to 32, and each and every specialization will gain 6 to 8 new skills. A new city, Saints Haven, will offer new storylines and daily quests as part of a total of over 500 quests introduced in the patch. 10 new dungeons, 250 new achievements, a new season of PvP gear, and special events will round out the patch's content for players. Can't wait to kick mo puppies. Games Campus announces a brand new content update for its fantasy MMORPG Scarlet Legacy, introducing among other features the Guild War system. The Guild War system lets players combat with up to 6 guilds at a time, up to 120 players total, in a battle royale style competition. Players who destroy their rival guild bases will earn special rewards and guild benefits. New combat skills will be available for players between level 46 and 50, along with 80 new quests, 50 new items, 4 new types of pets, and 130 new crafting recipes. A new outdoor field map and 10 player dungeons, plus a new demon lair event, and new minigames. Hellbreed is now available in North America. Gameforge's browser-based action RPG Hellbreed is now available for US players. Hellbreed offers single and multiplayer modes, three character classes, Archer, Warrior, and Sage Master, over 150 levels and 250 monsters, and uses its own proprietary game engine. It will also feature an orchestral track produced by the Philharmonic Orchestra. How about that? The Dawn of Relics update is now live for Bloodline Champions. The update introduces a new beginner quest that rewards players with a free Bloodline. A new medallion and trait system introduces character progression, letting you now modify health, damage, movement, and cooldowns on your Bloodline. A new matchmaking system lets players join as a party and has been improved to make matchmaking faster and better. Other changes include an overhaul to the Bloodgate UI, new items, and rebalancing to several classes and skills. Video of the week. Originally, we wanted to make Blacklight a free to play uh, with Tango Down, and Tango Down became an XBLA game. It wasn't everything that we wanted it to be, so 
once um, Black Light Tango Down came out, we set about basically doing everything we wanted to do. This is a complete evolution. We were going to self-publish the title initially. What turned out to be good for us was um, Perfect World came by. We're super stoked on the project. They basically said we want to take this, pick this up and, and run with it. It's been an awesome partnership because we've always wanted to do free to play title. The Perfect World comes to the table with this vast experience and knowledge base that we're basically able to fuse into the game. That is a game that we've always wanted to do from the outset. If you played Tango Down, you're gonna love this game. If you haven't played Tango Down, you're gonna love this game also. Send us your videos in the YouTube video response and be featured in the show. Game of the week. And this week's Game of the Week is Battlefield Heroes. Battlefield Heroes is a 3D, free-to-play, third-person shooter with stylish cartoon graphics. Players join either the National Army or the Royal Army in this casual World War II era shooter. Each faction has the same three class choices, Commando, Soldier, and Gunner. Battlefield Heroes is a great choice for both new and veteran players alike. Well, that's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave a comment. Until next week, go to MMOBomb.com for more free-to-play action.